However it's comfortable, we're getting started. Taking a nice, long, deep breath, letting your eyes close. Just allow yourself to come to your mat, come to your body, come to your breath. Like your goal is just to dedicate some time to moving and filling this body with prana and energy, getting rid of all of the stickiness that our overnight sleep has built up. You might even want to breathe right into the back of your throat, letting that breath be uh, ujjayi, having a sound, having a sound like Darth Vader or like the ocean. All right, let's move to hands and knees, keeping that long breath with you as you come. Inhale, head and tailbone lift, exhale, arch your back. Just continue to move, opening up the channels, inviting breath in, melting away stiffness and tightness. Good. Walk your hands um, a full paw print forward. There we go. And arch your back, press the bum back towards the heels, and then slide your chest forward. Arch your back, press your pump, bum towards your heels. And then as if you're grazing your chest towards the floor, slide forward, arch back. Slide forward, arch back. Slide forward. Last time when you come back up to center, walk those hands back into their original paw print spots. Let your back toes curl under. Press them into the floor, lift your knees, bum reaches for sky. Just paddle. Push bum, press through your hands. Find a long spine from crown of your head to tailbone. Just continue to bounce to your knees, paddle your heels. Look forward to your thumbs and bring your right knee forward. Put it down at your wrist, stretch the left leg back. We'll inhale and lift up. Settle your hips down. Nice. Put your hands down, back toes curl under. We stretch back. This time your left knee comes forward, it plants, you slide the right leg back, sit up tall, hang out there. Yeah. Ground your palms, back toes curl under, move back up again. Beautiful, gaze your thumbs, gaze to your thumbs, bend your knees, walk those feet to hands. Inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Bring hands all the way up to sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, fold down. Breathe in, long, flat back. Good, plant your fingertips, step back with your right foot. And then just take some time. If you have blocks close to you, and you want to put your hands on them, you go right ahead. Pushing that back through that back heel, push, let the hips settle, settle. You get to choose now if you want to drop your back knee or bring your hands onto your thigh. If the hands come to thigh, just push your arms down. Ground your hands, pushing the leg down into the floor, push through that back heel. Breathe, you could be doing this with your back knee planted too. Nice. And then let go. Hands come all the way up to sky. Beautiful. 
Hands float right back down. We take the back foot, lift the knee, step it forward, tabletop, and fold. Hands come all the way up to the sky and we exhale, dropping them to our heart. Breathe, hands come all the way up to the sky and we fold down again. Nice. Flatten your back, step back with your left foot. Remember you can use blocks here if you like. Pressing into the back heel, letting the hips sink low. Choosing if you're dropping your back knee and then lifting the hands to the thigh. Push down, ground through that front leg. Roll the shoulders down your back, lift your chest. Breathe. When it feels good, let the hands float up above you. Just notice the work in your legs, strength, capacity, keep the breath slow and strong, sweet. Hands come down, back foot steps forward, inhale, tabletop, exhale, fold. Breathe your hands all the way up to the sky and exhale them down to your heart. Good, breathe hands all the way up to the sky. As you exhale them down to your heart, take a step back with your right foot. This time the heel seals down into the mat and your left knee reaches forward. Push, push through that left knee with the back heel grounded. Notice a different sensation through the leg. This time through the back calf, through the back leg. Beautiful. Fingers float to the sky. Roll the shoulders down your back. Let your elbows open wide, gaze up, chest floats to the sky. Nice. And then hands come to heart. Beautiful. Take the back foot, step it forward. Left foot steps back. Push the back heel down into the ground. Let that front knee bend. Reach, reach, reach through the front knee. Keep the back heel grounded. Find that pose, lift the hands. Reaching that front knee forward, pressing the back heel down. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Opening your elbows, lifting your chest, gazing up. Nice. Hands come all the way to the ceiling and you let them reach down to the floor. Let's take the right foot, step it back to join the left. Long, flat back in plank pose. Then lift your bum to the sky. Long, flat plank pose. Lift your bum to the sky. One more time, plank. One more time, downward dog. In downward dog, let yourself wiggle and sway. Beautiful. Gaze forward to the thumbs. Let the feet come up flat in your back. Let yourself fold down. The fingers come all the way up to the sky. And then bring the hands to your hips. Separate your feet just a little bit wider than hip width and drop into those knees. Slide the fingers down the inseam of your thigh. You can widen the legs as far as you want. You can come as low as you like. Now in this position, just drop one shoulder down and lift back up again. Drop the other shoulder, lift back up again. Breathe. 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 Yeah, get that nice stretch across the back as we're building strength in the legs. You might wiggle your toes here just to remind them to be responsive. Nice, nice, good. So straighten those legs, let the fingers drop towards the floor. You'll just heel step the feet a bit wider and then fold forward. Toes point forward, feel that long stretch. Just hang out here, every exhale, let yourself feel a little bit heavier. Perhaps the fingertips walk back in line with the toes. Perhaps your elbows start to bend. Maybe you're gonna just stay with a nice flat back, taking care of any low back. Once you found your spot, just let yourself dive into each knee, reach out, 
swaying from side to side. Nice. Inhale, let yourself come all the way up. Hands drop back down. Sweet. Heel step yourself all the way back to center, coming to the top edge of your mat. Inhale up. Exhale for a big fold. Nice flat back. Plant those hands and step back. Reach the body forward. We're going to drop the right knee or roll to the sides of the right foot. Lift into your side plank. Pushing the side body up to the sky. Feel the energy that you're moving through your body. Change sides. You can drop to the left knee or roll to the side of the left foot. Nice work. Hands come down, knees come down. Let's touch your toes together and sink your bum back. I want you to slide your fingers forward, letting your forehead land on the mat. Allowing it to roll right and left. Deep breath. Inhale, bring yourself up. So if you were to bring your right knee into the middle of the mat, take the toes out to the left side, and then slide the left knee in behind that right knee. Take the toes out to the right. Super flexible people now can sit their bum in between their heels. The rest of us might just practice rocking a little bit. Or you can allow yourself to sit back just as far as it is comfortable. Hi, Katie. This is where I need blocks to catch my bum or your heel. So you can rock back and forth. You can sit here. And then find a twist. So I'm just gonna take my right hand back behind me. Yeah. Good. Let yourself come out, hands on mat, and then untangle your legs. Hi. Move the left knee to the center, toes go right. Tuck your right knee in behind. And same thing, you can sit between your heels. You can rock back and forth or you can very gently sit on a block, bringing it into a twist if it feels okay. Shh. Yeah. And then let yourself unwind. Undo your legs. So you have a choice now, you can lift back up into downward dog or you can choose a child's pose. Gaze um, forward to your hands. Your feet can come to the palms. Lift in tabletop. Let yourself fold down. And then inhale, hands to sky. Dropping your hands down to your heart. <laughs> All right, one little um, balance pose. Let's do tree. Left foot finds the ground. Right foot lifts up. It can go anywhere from the ankle, calf. You can even bring it up into the thigh. Let your hand come to your heart. Choosing if you want to lift them up to the sky or not. Breathe. Hi, I can hear you, Kitty. You're good. And then change legs, putting that right foot down. And left foot slides up. Remember, it can go anywhere along the inseam of that leg. Bringing it up into the thigh if that feels good today. Release. 
When you release from that pose, just give yourself a moment in Tadasana and Mountain Pose. Let yourself breathe there. Nice. Good. Standing at the top edge of your mat. Inhale, hands come to sky. Exhale for a deep forward fold. Breathe in, lift to tabletop. Exhale, bring your hands down onto the mat. And then step back one foot at a time to plank. Lift the hips to downward dog. Just settle into whatever version of downward dog feels the best here after those first few stretches. Lovely, drop down to your knees. Sit back on your heels. Roll the shoulders down your back. Drop your hands into your lap and breathe. As your arms open up, um, shoulder height, take right hand over top of left. Wrap the palms together or bring hands to shoulders. <coughs> Excuse me, lift, um, lift the elbows away from the chest, pull the thumbs away from the forehead, settle your hips, breathe. Open those arms up nice and wide and change sides. Right goes underneath left, <coughs> excuse me, breathe. <coughs> You're pulling the elbows away from them chest, you're pulling the thumbs away from the forehead. <coughs> Keep breathing. And let those hands unwind. Good. Come back up into hands and knees and I want you to separate your knees a little bit wider. Sweep the feet over to the left and sit down. And then you're gonna take this left leg and just pull it back a little bit further. The sole of your right foot can just nestle into the top thigh. Sit tall here. See if you can let your left bum cheek and sit bone relax towards the ground. And slowly let yourself twist toward your right knee, past your right knee. Your right hand can reach back behind you on a block or on the floor. Your left fingers can come to the front side of that knee. Continue to let yourself twist. When you can't go any further, take your chin and bring it backwards. Bring it back over your left shoulder and then tip it downwards. So much happening in this pose. Just let yourself breathe in and out, relaxing your heart, relaxing your hips. Feeling the breath move up and down, right down into the legs and pelvis. Breathe. Slowly you let go, bring your hands forward and then take the feet out in front of you. Just let yourself bounce your knees. Good and then sweep the feet over to the right. Right heel pulls back behind you, the sole of the, oh sorry, yeah, sole of the left foot goes into the thigh. Spend some time here just imagining that you could drop your right hip, the right bum cheek down to the floor. Lift tall through the crown of your head. And then when you begin to twist, I like a block. Uh, you can also put your fingers on the floor. Right fingers come to the front knee. Let yourself twist backwards. Settle the hips, relax the pelvis. Breathe in as you twist and then bring the chin back over the right shoulder, tucking it down. Close your eyes, breathe in and out. Soften your heart.
and then release your chin, your shoulders, bring everything back to center and let those feet stretch out in front of you again. Coming onto your sit bones and bouncing your knees. Lifting the toes right back up to the ceiling, your hands rise and reach. They reach towards the toes, landing anywhere on the legs that they're comfortable. In inhale, lift your spine. Exhale, let yourself soften over those legs. Hands land where they want. Breathe into the line that goes down the back of your legs. Just softening that to the floor. Okay. Inhale, those hands come all the way back up. Exhale, they release. And then just crisscross your legs. Lift nice and tall. Fingers reach to the floor in front of you and let them slide forward. Tuck your chin, let the back of your head feel heavy. Your right hand can stay grounded and bring your left arm up and open. And then take the left hand down to the ground and sweep your right hand up and open. Bring those hands back down to the ground and slide back up again. This time cross, change the cross on your legs. You'll be on your uncomfortable cross now. Sit nice and tall. And let hands land down. Same thing, they can slide as far away from you as possible. Your chin can tuck. Just feel this. Walk your fingers over your left knee. Back to center. And walk them over your right knee. Back to center. Good. Let's do our last 10 minutes on the mat, on our backs, rolling down. Bring your right knee up into your chest. Choose if you want to keep the left foot on the ground or if that left leg wants to go straight. The left hand gently draws the right leg across the body. Your right arm opens. Gaze can go right. Lengthen through the side body. Press the shoulders down on the ground, but feel the twist in the waist and the hips. Allow your warm breath to just melt away resistance and tightness. Inhale, bring yourself back up. Same choice on the other side, the left knee comes to chest. You choose if you want to keep right foot on the floor or lengthen it. The right fingers guide the top knee cross body towards the floor on the right. Left shoulder relaxes. The hip and knee just keep stretching away from that relaxed left shoulder. Good, unroll those knees back to center, draw them both up. Pull knees into armpits, let the soles of your feet face the ceiling. Your palms can wrap either the soles of your feet, the backs of your calves or the backs of your thighs. As you pull knees towards your armpits, let the tailbone unroll towards the floor. Releasing that. See if you can put your feet down as close to your bum as possible. 
push down into the soles of your feet, lift the hips. If you do have those blocks available, you could slide one underneath your um, sacrum, underneath your pelvis. If not, you're just pressing the hips to the sky, pushing into the backs of your arms, letting the fingertips reach high, robot arms to the ceiling. Slowly letting that spine release to the floor, long and flat, one vertebrae at a time. Go down as low as you can. You can leave your knees to tent together. You can bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees fall open. Or you can lengthen those legs to the end of your mat. Just have a moment of stillness here. Feel the fluid breath move through your body. Notice your circulation reaching right to the ends of your fingertips, the ends of your toes. Feel your warm breath, your heartbeat the sense of energy or prana moving in your body. Breathe. And then let yourself have a couple stretches and come back up. Ah. Namaste, ladies. Thank you for joining me. 